Reminiscing about an east side music venue of yesteryear, the Paramount Music Palace was the destination for birthday parties and family gatherings from the late 1970s until it closed in 1995. Patrons could dine on pizza while listening to tunes from the mighty Wolitzer Theater organ. Four former palace organists will reunite for a special show at the Hilbert Circle Theater. One of those organists is former WRTV sports reporter Ken Double. He stopped by WRTV to talk about two of his passions in life, sports and the theater organ. I got a call from Tom Carnegie who taught a sportscasting class at my alma mater, Butler University, said we have an opening and would you be interested? And of course I would be interested. That was 1980. This is Ken Double, Channel 6 Sports. I got introduced to the Indy 500. I got introduced to the rivalries, Purdue and IU, and had the opportunity to do the sports on the news first on the weekends, and then later uh, was on the set with Howard Caldwell and Clyde Lee and, and uh, all these uh, great people who delivered the news of the day. guy that uh, took his music as far as he took his sports. I grew up in Chicago, knew I was going to be a sportscaster. But my mom started on organ lessons uh, for me when I was eight. And about the time I was going to quit, I fell in love with the theater organ in Chicago, found out about these instruments, their history, the great sound. And so I steered my lessons in that direction, never stopped. The Paramount Music Palace was a pizza parlor on steroids. The seating capacity was 600 big main floor, a balcony ringing the side, but on one wall of the building was this enormous theater pipe organ. So all of the pipes that a pipe organ would have that you might hear at church, but these were designed to make music for silent films replace the orchestra. So there was a xylophone, a glockenspiel, a marimba, a piano, cymbals, tambourines, castanets, all wired into the organ. It was a visual and oral spectacular showpiece. So families would come, celebrate birthdays and anniversaries, Cub Scout groups, marching bands who were coming for a competition or whatever, they'd have their dinner there and uh, enjoy the, 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 the stunning showcase of this organ that could literally shake the building. There were requests from the audience over and over and over again, and that request list became known as the Dirty 30 among us organists. Chattanooga Choo Choo because we could make the organ sound like the train is coming into the station. Uh, Star Wars, uh, theme from Rocky, which I refuse to play. The other organists know I'm not playing Rocky in my set on Sunday. Um, and and uh, again, many others. So, some things like Over the Rainbow from uh, The Wizard of Oz. Um, and uh, Happy Birthday, The Entertainer, I mean, on and on it went. This incredible instrument has accompanied a lot of memories during the past 16 years, but its future has hit a sour note. The restaurant is closing. The Paramount Music Palace has a lot of regulars who hate to see the restaurant close. Millerit Monroe has been coming here for years because she loves organ music. It is sad. I've enjoyed it ever since I was 12 years old. I've come and I remember Des a bird at the organ, the Cato Tabernacle, and all of the music is just the greatest thing this side of heaven in my way of speaking. And now here we are, 40 some odd years later, and we're doing a Remember the Paramount concert at the Circle Theater, the home of the symphony, with Donna Parker and Bill Vlasic and uh, Dwight Thomas, who at the time was the young kid on the bench, uh, and the people that made the music come alive at the Paramount Music Palace. For those who don't know anything of the Paramount and don't know anything of the Wurlitzer Pipe Organ, the Wurlitzer Pipe Organ is a musical experience. There is nothing quite like it. It can be whisper quiet, it can be thunderous and stunning, and it can present most anything from the field of light classical to popular to novelty to all kinds of music. And, oh, do I gotta go to an organ concert? This is not gonna be an organ concert. This is gonna be a spectacular piece of variety entertainment with an instrument that will leave those that don't know it blown away.